Hey everyone, it's Christina. So this is a video on how to get this dry hair back moisturized with the lock method. I'll be doing a perm rod set and also styling. So here we go. So for co-washing, I'm using the Organics Coconut Milk Conditioner. Um, it has really great slips, so this is like one of my favorites right now. Just make sure when you're detangling that you start from the bottom up so that it's easier to get all the knots out and so you're not really tugging on your hair that much. So I just parted my hair into four sections just to make sure that I conditioned my whole head. Um, afterwards, I did go ahead and rinse it out and use an old t-shirt. And for the lock method, I'm just using some of my favorite products. You can definitely use whatever you like. Just make sure that it's oil, um, a liquid-based conditioner, or just water. And then a cream or a butter, your favorite one. And just make sure you do it in those steps and you will be absolutely fine. Um, I'm just twisting my whole head just to make sure that the moisture stays in. I don't have any plastic caps, so who is not using that plastic bag? It works the same way. You better use that plastic bag. Do not let it go to waste. So the reason I do this is because I just want to lock in the moisture for my hair because my hair gets really dry. But I left it in for about an hour. Well, left the bag on for about an hour. And basically, I'm just going to get started on my perm rod set. So I'm using two different kinds of perm rods. But let me tell you about this Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Curling Gel. When I say Aunt Jackie did not let me down, Aunt Jackie, with this gel, I absolutely love this gel. Like, it doesn't flake, like it doesn't make my hair hard or anything. It is so good. I love it so much. So while putting the perm rods in, I make sure that the ends of my hair is really smooth and I make sure that they are tucked first. And basically I just roll it up, then twist it, then roll up, then twist it. And that's the method that I use throughout my whole hair. But really quick, just look at my natural curl pattern by using Aunt Jackie's. Like, look how defined it is. I absolutely love it. I will be doing a wash and go very soon. So I sat under a dryer for about two hours. And now I'm just taking it out, making sure that my hands are covered in oil. When I unravel them, I just make sure that I hold my root and then take the twist out in the opposite direction. So with separating, I usually separate it about three or four times and then just wrap it around my finger. So the more you separate, the more definition you get. So it's really up to you how much you want to separate or how much you do not want to separate. It just depends on how you want your hair to look.
Now I'm just trying to fluff it out with my fingers. Just tug at the root to give it more height. Um, I'm also going to use my wide tooth comb. Just make sure that you do not go through the curls. Just get your roots. Now let's talk about these edges. So I'm using Aunt Jackie for my edges because she is absolutely everything. But first I use the ORS olive oil gel. I put that on first because it has a firm hold. But afterwards, I used Aunt Jackie's and it literally held my edges. It literally hugged my edges for hours. It would not let it go. And I sincerely appreciate that. Like I can use this for my edges and my hair. I will definitely keep purchasing this product. So I wasn't really feeling my hair down, so I just decided to do a quick updo. Um, I really didn't know what I was doing at the time. I was just taking out pieces of hair, but I actually really liked the outcome. So now I'm just taking my rubber band and I'm parting my hair so that part of it can be in a little puff and the rest can be a bang. Now just taking a wide tooth comb and lifting my roots for my puff. And this is basically the whole look. Um, you could just fix little tweaks here and there for how you want it to actually look. But this is basically the finished product and I really do like it. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what videos you'll like to see in the future. And I'll see you guys soon.